Hey everyone, my name is Crook Fedora, and today I'll be showing you how to make an entire teleporter into your game. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to make the script and how this actually works. So let's get into the video. All right, so once you're loaded into your project, we're going to be making only two parts for this video. So once you're ready with your project, make a part inside the workspace and name it teleport part one and change the size to whatever size you want. All right, so this is what my part is going to look like for now. Once you have your part ready, let's go ahead and make our script. So in the script, we need to detect if the part is being touched, who is touching the part, and if it's an actual player. In the script, this function will be able to trigger whenever an item is touching something. And the word hit is a variable that sends a function to the exact item that is touching the part. We need to make a script where it only detects if a player is touching the part. So follow everything I do in the script, I'll explain everything. So in the script we just coded, we made a variable which could be equal to a humanoid root part. Unlike every item in Roblox, the humanoid root part is found inside a character. So we need to code an if then statement to make sure it really exists before we do anything else. So if the humanoid root part actually exists, we're going to get the position of the humanoid root part which is called the C frame. But before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make another pad to teleport to. So first, duplicate the pad by clicking Ctrl D, then name your other pad Teleport Part 2. Then put the second teleport pad into your script, and don't forget the C-frame. Alright, so now let's go ahead and test to see if our code works. So once a player joins the game, they will be able to see this part, and when they touch it, and as you can see, it works. We can easily fix this glitch by using two steps. First off, select all the pads, then go to the properties and make sure can collide is off. And also be sure that the parts are anchored. So once you've done all those steps, let's go ahead and test to see if this works now. And as you guys can see, the code finally works now. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.